Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. This is going to be your weekend reading for, goodness, I, I haven't even time to keep up with my calendar change here. Um, for May 5th through the 7th, 2023, this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Just keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. So if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Virgo, okay, let's get into your reading. Let's take a look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hi, everybody in the chat, and welcome to all of my new members and new subscribers. All right, one more card. One more card. You're already starting out with past life relationship, and you have honeymoon and keeping an open mind. Okay, Virgo, awesome. Awesome sauce. All right, let's see past life relationship you have known each other before virgo okay so connecting on friday with someone from your past okay so let's see Virgo, you've got the eight of pentacles six of cups there you go card just fell and one more okay two more okay somebody's coming in to make an offer virgo okay definitely want to connect with you put in some effort okay they're slow <laughs> they're slow they're really stressed um they're coming in with like a solid offer it's not a love romantic proposal um this could be somebody you've been in separation with uh, someone that you were in a relationship with to whatever degree romantic of course um could have been romantic dating or it was exclusive it could have been um a long-term kind of thing it also could have been a marriage okay so yeah it could for some of you this could be somebody that you work with as well but there is a returning from the past all right and um um so the nine of swords sorry i was hearing voices because i'm crazy um nine of swords this person is really stressed though they have a lot of anxiety um and they're taking their time coming in with this it's something i feel like they have had on their mind or they've been thinking about um but yeah there's so virgo friday an offer for a date an offer maybe a phone call or a text or something asking to talk to you um, you might get it while you're working before the end of your work shift or if you're working throughout Friday night you kind of get something here um, it could be a gift as well they send you a little maybe leave a little teddy bear on your desk or you know a little like some food or something with a little note attached I'm seeing um, either I miss you or um, you know can we talk that kind of energy is playing out here on Friday so, so it's going to be a little bit of a Hmm, I feel like that. So when I see the Nine of Swords, it, you know, the stress energy is like nervous. Like this person's really nervous about doing this. Um, now, this comes to me as it could possibly be an earth sign. Um, the Knight of Pentacles generally represents another Virgo. So, hmm, okay, Virgo. Another Virgo coming in, or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. Like there's, could be their Sun, their um, Moon, their Rising, their Mars. You know, um, their Venus. Okay, so I feel like there's definitely an energy of somebody wanting to come in and try to have another start with you. Now Saturday, you have honeymoon Virgo. All right, let's take a look. What's going on here? Oh yeah weekend vacation enjoying the bliss of holiday time together is there a holiday over the weekend oh gosh you know what the full moon is on friday wow very emotional time um well it's national pet week <laughs> um starting on sunday so uh I did, didn't I say like last week or one of the readings someone was going to leave a little puppy <laughs> or get you a puppy? Um, so yeah, there, you're going to be spending the weekend with somebody here, Virgo, for sure. Um, Six of Swords is, you know, taking a trip, coming out of that comfort zone, um, getting into a peaceful place, going to a lake, uh, maybe a cabin on the lake, uh, something along those lines. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. Ah, look, Queen of Swords. 
those sword cards always showing up okay so yeah definitely planning a trip with you over the weekend and the king of pentacles is in the reverse um you're gonna be sideways about this <laughs> Virgo. Um, okay, so it could be a, a Queen of Swords coming out to the open. Um, or, like I said, it's another Virgo. Hold on, I'm just getting the message here. Give me a second. Um, I feel like this person is coming out, like, they're going to tell you everything over this weekend, is, is what I feel like is going on here. Um, and tell you what, you know, like... They've been waiting for you or, or they're they 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 are they, they will wait for you or like you know whatever it takes that kind of energy to have a connection or be together can you all hear my grandson he just got home from school so he's very excited um so yeah there's definitely going to be something here um you're going to be spending some time with someone over this weekend for sure of course the opportunity is there for that to happen um and I feel like this person is going to be communicating. They might be coming from afar as well to see you. So you might be in a long distance kind of thing with someone. Hold on a second. Yeah, um, this person, I feel like has been planning, um, or might even say that, you know, come for the weekend, and then there might be some communication that they want to stay a little bit longer, they're going to extend their trip, or invite you to come see them to spend time with them wherever they are, or to have a little vacation, or a little quote unquote, holiday fun time, even though it's not a holiday, <laughs> it can just be enjoying the bliss of time together so your weekend looks jam-packed with fun we've got pisces libra aquarius gemini here as well um now we're only seven minutes into this reading and i can only tell you that this is so easy to read right now <laughs> i feel like the reading should go on a lot longer but i don't think that's gonna happen keep an open mind on sunday okay your soulmate oh my goodness your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay, what's going on here? You get a soulmate connection. Wow. Again, some of you are definitely connecting with a Virgo. If, if you're not, they have Virgo in their chart somewhere or, or Taurus. It could also be Capricorn, a very studious, uh, reserved kind of person. Um, Virgo, this feels like you though, honestly, um, because I do feel like what I was saying on Saturday, there's conversation or somebody just comes out and reveals everything and tells you the truth, gives you clarity. They're straightforward and direct and honest um, about what they're seeking um, or to extend a trip or to invite you to go with them maybe the following week or the following month. Um, to have something, you know, spend a little time together on the weekend and then, you know, maybe have an extended stay or reconnect with you again. Virgo, you're being asked here to keep an open mind because I feel like you might not be sure. Some of you really are enjoying being single, okay? You feel steady, safe being single at this time. Um, and I don't think you're writing it off completely or... Um, if you're not enjoying being single, you may not be 100% sure about this person. Um, you may be single now and not 100% sure about this connection. Not that I, I mean, I don't see anything coming up that you, you're not really going to have a enjoy yourself if you accept it this weekend thing. But I kind of feel like you're going to analyze it. Like, do I want to do that? Do Am I able to do that? When will I be free from work? Or, you know, kind of just taking a look at things as far as traveling goes. Or even if it's this person wanting to stay a little longer or try to come back in and reconnect with you. Again, I, I kind of feel like Sunday, you're being asked here to keep an open mind. Um, there might be something about the connection where there's huge differences between the two of you and you might be wondering if it's actually going to work maybe it's just you know spending some time over the weekend or even if it's just one night going on a date or connecting i feel okay yeah two of swords in the reverse so 
yeah, it's kind of be, it's kind of along the lines of like indecision here. You're, you, um, I don't think you're going to give someone an answer, straightforward answer about fo uh, following up plans and getting together again. That feels like the strongest message. I do feel like you're going to connect with someone over this weekend. I do feel like it's a past person who is going to want to see you and spend a little time with you, even if it's just an hour having lunch in a park or an extended weekend or whatever it might be. There is something here on Sunday where you might kind of like take a step back and reevaluate the whole thing and kind of ask yourself, like, I see you being undecided or um, not sure about committing to anything going forward. Um, yeah, let me see. I'm going to get a couple extra messages because I just don't want to leave you with a reading that's only 10 minutes long. I should because I know some of you kind of like that, but... We'll just at least get to 15 or 20. Messages of love, okay? Passion. Try something you've never done before, Virgo. Looks like um, this might be you deciding whether to be spontaneous or not. If it would be worth it for you to get into spontaneous energy with someone, okay? So you're definitely going to be questioning... Um, Wondering if you should throw your cares to the wind and just go for it, or if you should just not go for it. But you're, you know, obviously try something you've never done before. So this might be something you're being asked to do with this person going forward that you've never done before, and you might not know about something. You want to look it up, try to understand, um, maybe look up a particular area or figure out the financials of getting together um let's see okay you've got abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now this seems like it's some type of a gift that's coming in for you so it's new love or recommitment to love is developing it's time to decide about this relationship and detach with love to clearly see the truth okay virgo yeah i feel like you're going to be asking yourself should i do this or not should I do this or not? And just so you know, you guys, going forward, I am going to begin including Friday and Saturday readings here as well. So you're going to have me every day of the week. And I know you're going to be super excited to hear my chipmunk voice every day of the week. I am completely going for it seven days this week, every week going forward. Um, more messages to you, more insight, more guidance. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, Virgo, it kind of looks like you're going to be pretty excited over this weekend with something coming forward for you, but then it's going to be crunch time and you kind of like, hmm, do I want to do this? Do I want to get back into this relationship with this person? Do I want to try this again? Maybe I just want to see, but then more will be required or more will be asked of you from this person or this relationship. And you're going to, it looks like you're going to kind of sit back in your little chair here and kind of like, hmm, let me look things over. Um, you're going to tick some boxes and see if other boxes are going to be ticked with this person. Um, looking to see where you need to dot your I's and cross your T's, kind of analyzing the whole situation, trying to use your intuition um, before you make a final decision with the Two of Swords reversed. That is a card sometimes of it being a little bit of a struggle, um, probably because it's a past person and also um, feeling a little overwhelmed and not sure about committing, okay? So, very well, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't know if I, I should tell you that you should go for it or if you, like, it looks like you're going to have to decide this one on your own, but I can definitely see somebody from your past reaching out or making some kind of solid offer over the weekend. Let me see what other information they can tell you about this person. Ooh, so courting mail. Is someone either in a uniform or professional mail who's coming in to court you, okay? If you are interested in males and then oh my goodness i can't pick it up <laughs> soulmate great connection great relationship this is a soulmate connection this is and there's some differences you might be looking at okay are we like two people who can make this happen are we like i like to use the term equally yoked um let me say what else 
Oh, yeah. Virgo, like seriously, this this reading was so straightforward. Dating, whining, dining, and romance. Yeah. You definitely have, uh, there's definitely a past person coming in to, wants to start dating you. And they're not going full force with, well, let's, it's kind of like, well, maybe we could just start dating again and try to pick up where we left off or, um, or really just get into dating and, and, and try to work on progressing the relationship with the effort in to seeing where things could go. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. This person is definitely wanting to date you. Like, I feel like, I don't, I feel like it's, they're going to be very direct and it feels like it's going to be, I want to date you. Like, I want us to date. You know, I, I, like, I, I'm, I'm only going to date you. Just you and you and me to see where things can go between us. I don't know, Virgo. I mean, it, I mean, honestly, it sounds like something you might be wanting. Oh, gosh, Virgo, I can't. <laughs> I can't. It's a past lover, Virgo. Point blank period. It's a past lover, Virgo, and, and guess what? I got a date with my little grandson this weekend, so I'm happy. But listen, Virgo, <laughs> you got a past love coming in. What else do you want me to say? I mean, come on. Let me say. I wish I had my deck that had the actual signs on it, but I don't. And I, All right, so because it's going to be the full moon, let me give you some full moon messages. How about that? Okay, Virgo. Let's see what the what the moon messages have to say for the full moon. All right, hold on. Okay. Believe in the impossible, Virgo. Okay. This might not seem like something that could ever happen. I know some of you might be saying, there's no way. This is my exes. They left me. There's no way. Believe in the impossible. Keep your faith. If this is something that you want, of course. Let me just stress that. This is something that you want. Um, then, hey, keep the faith. Hold your vision. Okay. Now, I haven't gotten a full moon card yet, but I will tell you what they want you to know. Hold your vision. If this is something that you want, don't give up faith and work through your fears and expect powerful changes to occur let's see what the full moon um is it full moon in i don't know is it full moon in taurus well apart from all that you've got surrender to the divine <clears throat> surrender to the divine pray about it pray on it Basically, just kind of, you know, send, meditate, pray about it to the divine, to God, to spirit, higher power, whomever. She's like, whatever you believe is for me. I know you will bring this for me because what's meant for me won't pass me by. Okay. So it kind of feels like trust, keep your faith in the higher power, the supernatural. Um, and you will know. You won't have to like really sort it out as much as you think you will. You will just know. All right, let me get a couple of charms here for you guys. I know you love the charms. Okay. All right. So you've got, what the heck is that? That almost looks like a millipede or something all squished up. It's a moon. Look at that. You've got a moon here, Virgo. And it's a, it's a quarter moon. Some kind of connection to a moon, Virgo. You also have a ship's wheel which just tells me that the wheel is turning and you can direct your path here when you trust the divine. This feels to me like, you know, your, your life is at the helm. This is your fate, fate and destiny. You're in charge of that because you have free will. You can say yes or you can say no. And also, this is cute. You've got some, a high heel shoe here. So some of you, um, maybe you're looking at your shoes are looking to see like um, there might be like an, uh, going dancing maybe going dancing try something you've never done before for a couple <laughs> some of you maybe maybe it's a particular dance that you've never done before maybe line dancing country dancing salsa dancing any kind of dancing something you know because I kind of get a message this there, there's some type of difference between you and this person okay whether that's um, career type of you're in different industries or it's geographical differences spiritual differences cultural differences whatever it is there's there's definitely some change uh, not change there's definitely some they're not obstacles they're they're 
their differences. And it's an opposite to attract a little bit here too. Some of you have this attraction to a past person. Your opposites are what kind of draw you to each other, right? And I, can't, I don't know exactly what it could be specifically, but I do feel like you've got somebody here, courting man, courting woman. You, you definitely have somebody coming in here wanting to, I mean, they're showing up over this weekend, Virgo. If not this weekend, it could be next weekend. Just keep in mind that um, the timeline is fluid here, okay? So I'm going to leave that there, short and sweet, but I will be back here tomorrow, Friday, to do another reading and also Saturday. So tune in and um, yeah, that's it. Have a great weekend, Virgo, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. <music>